Shout out to Mia, aka Queen Size Mia. Here's my sister. Hey y'all, it's your girl Leah. And, and welcome back to Hello, Hello Gorgeous. Let's get into the episode, y'all. Yeah. I am so excited for this episode. Um, we have some good, amazing topics we're gonna talk to you guys about, and let's go ahead and get into it. Let's so, into it. my topic for today is what have you learned in 2023 in a few words? What have you learned? Oh, you're saying this to me? Yes. Girl, can you start it off? Oh, I'm starting off. Okay. Well, in 2023, I learned you can't trust everybody and everybody is not your friend. Everybody that is, man, it just, I learned a lot in 2023. Like, you got to keep your friends close, girl, because, yo, oh, yeah, you got to keep them enemies close, but sometimes it be your friends. They be undercover enemies. Like, you just got to make sure you aware of who you hanging around because they could be plotting on your downfall the whole time they friends with you. And that's what I really learned in 2023 because I ain't never thought I would ever go through what I went through. But when I went through it, I said, I ain't like that. I ain't like that. I should really start listening to the people I love. That give you advice. Yes. That give me advice. <laughs> because um, I I moved in with someone that I shouldn't have moved in with. It's okay. Girl. And I'm learning now. <laughs> I should I really should have listened to these niggas like <laughs> Come up in your crib. But y'all are like 20 Y'all see that I done already mm. finished. I added up. some juice to mine because, girl, this is all I'm going to have for the day. Because mm -hmm. I don't need too much wine on good. this video. I ain't even going to lie. The first good. episode, I was a little lit, y'all. I was a little lit. Mm. But, um, <clears throat> I've been going through life, been life. Oh, so, <laughs> 2023 just, was an eye opener, like, for real. Mm -hmm. 2023 yeah. was an eye opener. Yeah. For real. It was like the year yeah. of exposing, like airing out everything. Yeah. Like knowing the truth for everything. That's what I feel 2023 was. 2024 is like the re re repercussions of but whatever we, love. But we only two months in and a lot has been Well, going pretty much on. just one month. Cause, well, yeah. Yeah. yeah we still it, in the family. But it's a lot has been going on in yes. that one month. You know what I'm saying? In January, so, y'all, let's have a, a recrash. See, Jan. Girl, we're gonna have to go and catch you next year because. Yeah. Oh. Auntie Jen. Jen, where are That's how you know I'm a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, what the frick is you talking about? Auntie yeah, Jen. Like, like, this year, we had that girl that was lying about her child being stolen, basically, up here girl, where we live at. I said, I said, girl, ain't, good, ain't, good, ain't no way ain't they good. found your baby. <laughs> And he clean. How, baby? There ain't no way he was out there for three days that he's supposed to be missing and come back clean. His diaper wasn't soiled. Like, make it make sense. And then she wasn't crying in the well, interview. Put some respect on the baby. Pull up. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pull yeah. up. That's that. Pull up. Oh, yeah. No, put some respect on it. Pull up. And then you know the, <laughs> and then you know the make of stallion beef and Nicki Minaj beef that happened in January. Krishan like stupid, but. Krishan, why did you get that tattoo covered up just to get another one on your face? Okay, so my positive word for today is grace. The reason why I chose grace is because, girl, I gotta have grace for myself for putting up with what I went through in 2023, baby. Because, y'all, I ain't tell y'all, I had somebody throw a wet napkin at me while I was using the toilet at work. <laughs> Oh, I'm up here, amp, like headphones in, use the toilet, and all I feel is so wet. I'm like, what the world? I go out, this lady I'm changing her baby. She was like, oh, that lady did it. I don't know why she did it. She wear it, this, that, and the third. So I went and followed. I was like, why you do that? And then she was starting to cuss at me, saying, well, you didn't listen to me when I said it wasn't no toilet tissue in the bathroom and all this stuff. I don't work in the bathroom. I'm, I'm working. I got headphones in. I ain't hear you. I'm on my phone. And it's just the audacity for me. And then she was like, I'm going to tell your manager. I'm going to tell your manager. I was like, oh, it's all right. I'll call her right now. And then when she came, she held me down. And we kicked her out of the store. And that way you couldn't get your grocery for Christmas. Because nobody else was open but us. So I know you ain't get your stuff for Christmas. 
Oh, I bet you were eating chicken broth. <laughs> If it wasn't for my kids, <laughs> it'd be over. But I got to think about my kids and I need this job. I need this job. <laughs> so, you was out, you was I'm going to put up with it for now. So, what's your positive word for today? My positive word for today is accountability because for me, I feel like I've had to work on taking accountability for things that I do. I mean, some people have a hard time doing that, but for me, I just, I mean, it's not hard for me to take accountability for what I do, but I mean, everybody struggles with it, you know? So. I struggle with taking accountability sometimes. Like when me and Tori be fussing sometimes, I be yeah. like, man, sometimes, like it just depends on what the situation is. I will be like, like I'll be taking, a, I feel like I take accountability, but I don't take full, I don't take it fully because I kind of be throwing it back. Like, you know, like when somebody come to you with a problem and then instead of just reflecting on what you did, you try to throw something back or bring up some old stuff. I got to stop doing that because I do do be doing that. Like just because me and him talking about like he telling me something I'm doing wrong. That's not my, it's not my opportunity to talk about all the stuff I want to talk to him about that he's done wrong because I don't start the conversation now. We're talking about me and I keep reflecting to him when we're not talking about him at the moment. We're talking about me. So that's something I got to work on. <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, I, for me though, I just, I don't have a hard time saying that when I know I'm wrong. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't have a hard time saying, hey, I'm wrong. I'll be and argumentative. I'm, I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, you are. Girl. <laughs> and I'm, for me, I'm, I mean, I can be argumentative too. I can. When I'm with it, I'm finna be with it, you know? But a lot of times, I'm, it's, it's not good to be like that all the time, you know? Yeah. That's all we gotta work on. Yeah. You see, I done finished the cook. Yeah, look, I'm trying to stick with this one. We're gonna stick with this one this time. Black girl. But um, you already know, girl, what you say? So tell me the juicy news for today. My hello news for today is. So I had saw a Facebook post talking about BBLs and stuff, and the post said, as a female in 2024, if you don't have a BBL, bro, I know who said that. Can, can, I, can, I, can I finish? Oh, don't even. Oh. 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 So the post said, as a female in 2024, if you don't have a BBL, boobs or teeth, you aren't a bad. You are not a baddie. So how you feel about that? Hey, Santana said that. If you watch Love and Hip Hop Miami, you know I gotta, I gotta see who that is. Because I know the name, but I gotta put a face in the name. But Saucy, what do you feel? Yeah, Saucy, yeah, Saucy Santana. Oh, I know Saucy. Yeah. You said it wrong. Girl, girl. I couldn't get the first name up there. But what do you think about that, girl? What do I think about that? I'm all natural. You see what I'm wearing right now? Let me show you. Come on, mama. Yeah, come on, mama. I love you, but you don't always need to be BBL, baby. Period. You don't need to be a little baby. You don't need to be BBL 24 7. Period. Um, I feel like in like I feel like you really don't need those things to no. be a baddie. No. But I'm not gonna lie in today's society. I swear, it's I swear it's like everybody on Zeus and now that's TV. It's like all of them are starting to get surgery and stuff. Y'all looking like bugs, like look, but for real, bad it's built like, body. Oh Bugs life and ant booty. <laughs> y'all, if y'all, like, my thing is, if you're gonna get BBL, make sure you go to the right doctor so you will not get botched. Not get botched in 2024 if you're gonna get a BBL. You need to get the right booty. <laughs> Look, okay, I'm gonna tell you this. It's a TikTok um, creator. She has a BBL. Yeah. I can't remember her name, but she got, like, little like a little BBL and it looks natural. Yeah, like it looks I love like the perfect. natural BBL. But if I could, uh, I can't look it up on my phone, can I? Because mm -mm, they can't phone. really see it. Like, if you I mean, if I could just put her name. Yeah, you can if you want to. Because I follow her on TikTok. But yeah, but y'all know what yeah. society, for real, for real, like when it comes to like industry people, it feel like, like you really got to um, have a BBL because everybody got a lot. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people feel like they gotta get that to like make it in like the music industry and to move up in like social settings and stuff like that. I feel like you shouldn't have to do that but society make it feel like you have to right. do that. Cause if you ain't got no booty, you ain't got no titties, 
and your teeth messed up, girl, you ain't gonna really get too far. I ain't saying it's gonna look like a lollipop now, but. Well, you might as well get your phone back. You gotta talk about your topic. So my topic for today is I would like to know everyone's opinion on the Gypsy Rose case. About a month ago, she was a re she was released from jail. And a lot of people had a lot of different opinions. See, for yeah. me, I feel like my opinion is I felt like she didn't need to go to jail from jump. And I do agree. I feel like she did need to get help mentally because her mom... If you look, you know, if you read or even watch the watch movie, the movie. It's, like, all movie. Whole it's called movie. The Act. Watch that movie and it's all about her and what her mama was doing. Baby, she, I'm not, man, I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for this, but for real, her mama deserved what she deserved, in my opinion, because why would you do that to your child? But if y'all don't know what, what had happened, the mama so was sick. giving the daughter pills and everything, making making it so that she thought she was disabled and she couldn't walk. So she basically made her child handicapped so she can sick. get all the benefits and stuff for her child. And the boyfriend ended up killing the mama. And then they both end up going to jail. Yeah. So just in case y'all didn't know the what happened. The boyfriend, see, she, she, she strategically oh. thought it out. Gypsy strategically thought out the, the plan. And her boyfriend went yeah. through it. So, hey, I'm sorry, baby. So my thing is, they should have got, like, the mama, she shouldn't have been doing that. She should have did that to her. Like, what are you, why? You, you not finna, nah, I can't do that. I have two beautiful little girls. I cannot, uh, one of them is, one of them is autistic already, bro. What do I look like doing that to her? What do I look like doing that? She done been through, my, my oldest daughter, Harmony, She's autistic. She was premature. What do I look like putting her through more hell than she done already been through in her life? What do I look mm -hmm. like doing something like that? Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, I'm sorry. You could probably dislike what I'm saying, but I'm uh, I stand on what I said. Her mama her mama meant her, her mama deserved what, what came happened? to her. Cause what what you doing? She knew this that. is your flesh and blood here. Like what you but doing? But you know, baby? people don't care when it's on that money, girl. And much, man. The Bible says money is the root of all evil. Bro, I was thinking of that. All evil. Yeah. You fuck. Cause people yeah. do some evil yeah. stuff. Yeah. Put some you had the words out of my mouth, girl. Yeah. Oh, God. Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's get into the song of the week, y'all. My song of the week is Still With Her by FPJ. Because I recently, like y'all know, those crab pot had FPJ or whatever, perform or whatever. You know, I had to come see him and everything. You know, he sing, um, he be like, oh, my, 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 my. He be like, Still oh, With yeah. Her. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, what? I ain't going <laughs> nowhere. Still With Her. And he sing, oh, pull me. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, you, just, you just put the songs together. Oh. I'm saying no But you know, y'all know who y'all know who SPJ is. Go look up SPJ. He sings like the the new the new old school music. Like cause it sounds that we need new, more of old school sound. And that I we need it. more of. Cause yeah. all the but what's your uh, song okay, of the week? So my song of the week is more like I think I'm gonna just do albums. <laughs> because uh, my album of the week is Chris Brown's new album that just came out, Eleven Eleven. Sensational. Okay, that's yeah. not the song that I'm talking about, but it's on that album. My the song that I really vibe with is called Feel Something. Ooh. I really like that song, and it really I. I like that song right. that she got that um that he got that um little Nigerian girl singing on. You know um um shoot touch oh I messed up <laughs> shoot touch shoot touch that shoot the song shoot -touch. oh it's called shooter yeah, yeah. It's called I love shooter. that song he paid that a good money as he should for her little part you know well I know I'm gonna say this on camera I am going to see Chris Brown. Before I leave this earth, Leah says she want to be in his skin, body to body. Y'all know that song, baby. Body to body. I do not care the foolishness that he got going on. I'm going to see that man. 
before I die. I'm going to see that man. I want to see him too. Like Next, I'm going to be a whole slut out here. That I want a good album. He got and like people gotta start sleeping on Chris Brown. What happened with him and Rihanna happened about forty five years know, ago. It wasn't even his fault. 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 She should have kept her hands to herself. And she was hitting on him. She should have kept her hands. And do you know why she hit him? They said why she hit him? Why? Because she gave him a disease. Yeah. How you gonna get mad? You had the the clap, girl. They don't care no more about the situation. People still hold it People over this man. But I don't. And, and his I still work love you. For it. And I'm gonna love you. And like my and mom I'm is still like, like, I'm sorry. Artist. Another artist that they be saying, I'm "Are y'all gonna about listen to R. Kelly?" Man, I be still a two two. I'm so sorry. I, I Can like I get that beep beep? And trapped in the closet. Trapped in the closet. Is my show. <laughs> My thing it's is, a show. It's but you're trying to call it a show. It's not a show. It's, it's not a show. It's, it's a, a show. um, well, series episode, or series, series. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. But my thing is, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, y'all been known that he was not trying to mean the older people. Y'all should have been caught on to what he was doing. He made that song with Aaliyah when she was 15. He's talking about AJ number, but number. Y'all should have caught him then. But tonight, before all that number stuff number came. Thing, yeah. The loving I have for you, it'll never change. And she talked about a grown man. <laughs> she talked about. And y'all ain't say nothing then. Y'all ain't say that then. Y'all should have been saying something. Then I wouldn't have got into all his music like that. And yeah, trapped in the closet and everything. Yeah, they were trying to money, 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 Booty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You feel that booty off, right? Let's shut up. <laughs> That's not funny, y'all. That, like, what well, he did was serious. serious. Well, I kind of did serious. I but like that ain't got nothing to do with but his music. work. Yeah, his work is like that. Don't that don't have nothing to do with his but head right like, from what they doing to him is garnishing. Oh yeah, yeah. I know he ain't yeah. get no he ain't get no money, cause. Yeah. This is my song for real, no doubt. Said the DJ's making me feel the doubt as I'm walking Ooh. through the dance floor. We begin to dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, Ooh. is that it for you? Yeah, but well, that's it for this episode, oh, you guys. Man. Um, if y'all want to start sending us some questions and everything, just let yeah. us know in the comments below. Or in the description, I will have the email that you have if you want to ask us some questions and stuff, and we'll answer it on the show. Yeah. We love y'all. We love you. Yeah. We'll see y'all in the next one. Yeah. All right now. All right. Two fights. Two.